Welcome to Talk About Games. Today we're gonna to be discussing, is we the best emulation system? What do you think? I mean, I mean, the thing is, is that we're being inundated with all these different things. We got the NES Classic, the PlayStation Classic, Super Nintendo, Commodore 64, like we're really hitting everything. But the problem with all these singular releases is there's so many more games on these systems. The Wii, out of all of these consoles, has the most number of games. It had, it had way more, but I do want to say right off the bat, um, we are only considering official console emulation, They're not hacks or anything like that. So make sure you know that we're talking yeah, about official stuff. There's so much sensation happened related to all of these other consoles that are coming out. And they, and everybody makes the same comment. Why doesn't it have downloadable expansion games? Mm -hmm. Because the, the list of good games on a system is endless. Sure. Right? And the, the problem is, is that these companies are making this as a one shot deal. That, whereas the Wii, the idea behind the virtual console was that it would be a continuing service. They probably didn't want to offer their entire library of games to people because it's like, that's a lot of value. How, right. much, how much money would it take to get, let's say in the year 2000 even, uh, every single NES game? It'd be a lot of money. Right. You know, they can't just give you every single game for even how much is a NES classic, 100 bucks or something? Right. They, they can't give you all of it. I think it's funny. Um, the NES Classic and the Super NES were Classic were super successful, but now we're seeing PlayStation Classics in bargain bins for like mm -hmm. forty nine ninety nine. I think that, that was, kind of it was ex it was exciting when it happened, and it was like Super Nintendo one was like yeah. still exciting. It's got been going on a few years now. We did that video a few right. a few years back. Now it's like people are like, all right, like yeah, I'm getting to be we, done. We've had it. We've had enough of it. But the the Wii. It may actually be the most successful emulation console because it had over 400 games. It had, what is it? Nine systems were represented. What did, what did it have? We have a arcade. list here. NES, Super Nintendo, N64, TurboGrafx-16, Master System, Genesis, Neo Geo, Commodore 64. And I would argue that the Commodore 64 games on here may be better choices than on the C64. And, and some arcade games. Now, what I think yeah. people are going to say is, well, what about Wii U? Right, but the Wii U had half as many games. Mm -hmm. Well, it had 294. So it had, it had 140, like, 30, 40 less, less games. Right. Yeah. So I went on to like the 3DS shop and I had a whole, whole ordeal with that. But yeah. I saw that, uh, you know, they, they do offer virtual console games on the 3DS. Most of them seem to also be uh, handheld, like Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And nothing against mm -hmm. that, Game Gear. I, I love those games, but there's not nearly as many virtual console games on the 3DS as there are uh, on the Wii U and especially not what they I have mean, on the Wii. If, you, if you're putting the, the Wii and the Wii U head to head, I think the first thing that is going to become a conflict is the Wii has the Genesis and the Master System stuff. And to me, you, you can't really have a retro console without having Genesis. Mega Drive, maybe not, but that's- And I mean, that's, uh, not, that's not on the Wii U. Master System, maybe not, but you know, the Wii U doesn't have that. The Wii U substitutes uh, GBA and Nintendo DS. Mm -hmm. There's great games on those systems, but is it as important as Genesis? You have to have Genesis. You have to have Genesis. And we have Genesis, right? It had 77, yeah. apparently. 77 Genesis games. Even though the Wii had more games, it also comes down to the quality of the choice of games. Absolutely. I didn't go through the list of every single game and compare, like maybe the Wii U had yeah, but I figure like it's probably mostly the same games. One of the things that I thought was awesome about the Wii is it seemed like they were really trying to address some of the games that were more expensive on the secondary market. And I mean, that's what these consoles really are all about. If you could buy NES games for a dollar, if you could buy a little Samson for a dollar, mm -hmm. maybe you wouldn't need an emulation they console. They were more than a buck though. Well, they were, yeah. but I mean, they weren't a thousand dollars. No. You know? I think that if you could buy these games cheaply, you 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 wouldn't need an emulation console. You would actually use them. Yeah, like I mean, going down. I think the Super Nintendo list is the best example because on the on the Super Nintendo list, there were some titles that may be a little more expensive than you think, like Metal Marines. Sure. Like obviously, Metal Marines was a title that 
you know, it might cost 50 or $60. Uh, Harvest Moon, that's an expensive one. Yeah, by the way, I was going through the list of the games on the actual store, yeah. and I saw like Mighty Final Fight on there, which is yeah. like a, one of the rarest like NES games. Exactly. Talk about value for, you know. Yeah, and, and I don't think that these, these consoles, these classic consoles can explore a title like Mighty Final Fight. Because Mighty Final Flight's a title that came out when the Super Nintendo was out. Also, by the way, you know what was another cool thing I found on there? They had Versus Excite Bike, which right. is something that was only released in Japan. Yeah. But they had it available on the on the Wii as right. you know, virtual console download, which people, you know, in the United States never had yeah. that. And I mean in the Super Nintendo Classic, they did that with Star Fox. The Star too, Fox, yeah. Right? But I, I think, you know, they had been doing it in the virtual console for years. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a lot of people like even Secret of Mana, that's another expensive title. Ogre Battle, that's an expensive title. I don't think any of these classic consoles are having Ogre Battle or Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Super Adventure on Island, Wild Guns, you know, Mega Man X2. Even even like games that are more PC games, but they're still fun, like Prince of Persia. Mm -hmm. I love I like playing that. So also I wanted to talk about PlayStation. You might be like, well, why wouldn't you, you know, choose PlayStation? Because PS4 has a store where you can download a whole bunch of old really retro good. games. But the only thing is they're mostly, I think, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games and stuff right. for the most part. And, you know, with the Wii, you get stuff like, you know, Neo Geo and Turbo Graphics and Sega Genesis. You get so much variety yeah. in that. Also, I think the PlayStation itself is more accessible than the older consoles are. The games are cheaper. I still think the Wii was stronger. The bad news is that the days of the Wii being an emulation console are soon in the past. At the time that we're recording this, uh, at the end of the month, they're getting rid of the regular Wii shop um, entirely. I just went on there to download some footage for this video because it's gonna be gone. Yeah. And uh, it was actually really interesting for me because I hadn't looked at it in such a long time. The Wii came out such a long time ago. I remember when this, when the uh, virtual console came first came out, it was like one of the first things of its type. I mean, I, I had played ROMs before, I had seen those sure, sort of things, yeah. but the Virtual Console itself, I remember being excited about the releases, just like I was excited about new games like, coming it was out. As, and, and you know what, for that generation, they might not have seen those games before, yeah. like kids that were growing up with the Wii at that point. Definitely. You know? And I feel like some people might have asked why weren't there GameCube games like in the virtual console? But you have to remember at that time, GameCube was the previous system. Right. So those games were readily available yeah. at that time. You know, I, so there I wouldn't mean, be a reason for them to do that. I mean, the other thing about it, and, and I'm not sure about this, but I'm fairly confident that the Wii couldn't properly emulate a GameCube. It could. But was, wasn't the wasn't the Wii basically, from what I had heard, two GameCubes stuck together? So, so why couldn't it play one so, GameCube? So yeah. it could play the, the GameCube games natively. Mm-hmm like in the actual machine code yeah, yeah, of it. Right. It could play it natively, but it couldn't emulate it. Because if it has the power of two GameCubes, what, you think it should be able to do it? Well, no, because emulation, you actually need several times mm -hmm. the power of the system itself. So like there, there are super accurate Super Nintendo and NES emulators mm -hmm. that require modern processors. But like I said, you have to remember they didn't need to do that because the GameCube was the last system. The, people already had those games at yeah, that time. Right. So it was well, unnecessary. I mean, you could stick the disc in the system. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Flat out. No, exactly. Yeah. You could go to any GameStop, you could buy the stuff, and you could stick the it disc It wasn't in like the, the NES where people didn't have the games anymore. Yeah. So. I, I think we're probably getting to the end of the classic consoles. I mean, I know there's rumblings that there's not going to be an N64 classic. Okay. Yeah. So, which is a shame. So I guess the closest you'll ever get to an N64 classic is using your Wii using and your downloading Wii. those games over there. The way to do this now is you go to flea markets and you buy Wiis for $30 or less and you see what games they have on them. Right? Oh, I mean, yeah. that's the only unfortunate thing. I, I mean, I don't that. recommend doing that, huh. but it's like, a, you know, because people don't wipe their... Or, what, or, or buy them off, off eBay with somebody pre-installing them, if that's even a thing. Yeah, and, and I'm sure... I'm sure that you could probably hack the Wii and get well. There's all that, the but this video is not about. Well, this video is not stuff. about that. So it, anyway, uh, yeah. we're gonna wrap this up. Um, do you have anything else to say? Um, just that the Wii, for me personally, was a chance to experience shooters that I didn't play before. You know, 
Blazing Lasers and Superstar Soldier and Turbo Graphics games. You know, that was hard to get. I, our I played. Yeah. I played Darius Twin as a kid, but getting the replay on the Wii, I actually played it way more on the Wii. Mm -hmm. So to me, the the Wii was mostly RPGs that I didn't want to get out of storage and shooters on Turbo Graphics because I never had one. One of the big things is they started releasing those import titles that weren't out that didn't come out in the US. Like for instance, on the Wii Virtual Console, you could play Rondo of Blood. Oh wow, like the actual Rondo of Blood? Like the actual Dracula Rondo of Blood, uh, okay. not Dracula X. At that time, that must have been awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, it's pretty awesome. And I, I think there's one other title. It was, it was an N64 title, Sin and Punishment. Oh, I actually want a copy of that. Yeah, yeah, so Sin and Punishment was an import title. And it wasn't available here. Wasn't yeah. available here, and now they're actually making a new one. Mm -hmm. They're probably releasing a new one here because so many people got to play it. Play it on the Wii. On the Wii Virtual Console, makes sense. which I think is awesome. So I want to know what you guys in the comments think. Are we wrong? Was there uh, was there something that's better that we forgot? Um, I think I think we made a pretty good argument. I think you know the, the we really had more like right. more games. Absolutely. Than anything. But yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks Absolutely. for watching.